Hello and welcome to the Old World Gorage Channel. Hey guys, it's Elvis. Welcome to the Old World Garage Channel. Hey, I'm about to change the, the timing belt on my 9072 uh, Fortano 9.6. Um, yeah, and I think it's a, a good time to show how to change uh, a timing belt on the, this car. It's it's very easy and straightforward. Um, uh, what I'm doing now, and I think it's also uh, worth showing, it's um, like uh, cleaning the the water system, uh, the cooling system. Um, and then uh, just uh, get some cleaner in it and um, yeah, uh, fill it up again after changing uh, the timing belt. Uh, what I also doing to this car is changing from a mechanical fan, uh, belt driven to uh, an electrical fan. So uh, yeah, it gains a little bit uh, a horsepower. Um, yeah, so um, I have uh, this, um, this fill up system. Uh, which I think uh, it's uh, just uh, worth showing. Um, I think uh, everyone should have something like this in their garage. On this car, it's actually no problem uh, to fill it up uh, we, again with with uh, coolant water. But there are cars, uh, you know, where can uh, have uh, bubbles very very easily in the in the system. It is very hard to get uh, all air out. But I think I can show just really quickly on on this car. I already have. Um, you put some, uh, well, let um, the car warm up, uh, put some um, coolant cleaner in it, let run the car for 15 minutes and, and train um, again. And now um, I have already uh, fresh water in it to just uh, let it run again for 15 minutes and get again all the water out and then fill it up again with the right um, coolant uh, mixture. I'm just going to show um, how this works, this, this fill up system. Um, you just attach your compressor, your compressed air here and then uh, it sucks the air uh, from the coolant system um, just moving this valve and then when you are like a 0.4 um, minus 0.4 bar um, you just close this valve and then uh, open this valve and then from the atmospheric pressure the water gets pumped in the cooling system until it gets to zero and then you know okay I have no air uh, in the system I have just um, clean water here but indeed if you if you want to finally fill up the system um, you are going to use the, the correct mixture I usually use uh, like 50-50 uh, water and um, and like G48 is it called here um, of uh, coolant concentrate this is why I love so much uh, work on these cars it took me like 30 minutes and uh, one pair of vinyl gloves uh, to uh, to dismount, uh, disassemble the complete uh, front of the engine. So uh, I just uh, thought you through. Um, remove the hoses from the radiator. Um, sometimes they're a little bit sticky, so you try to turn them uh, and then uh, pull them out. Uh, remove the radiator, and then you have uh, more than enough space. And then uh, I recommend to. Um, if you, I recommend anyway to change the, the, the warper pump. This one has a little bit play on it. I think it will be fine, but I already uh, got a new one. Just um, uh, keep um, the belt on so you can remove um, the screws uh, from, the, from the water pump here. Um, let me search uh, for the part uh, where I have it. Um, here it is. Um, just uh, remove the screws first uh, before you remove the belt. Else, um, like me, if you do it, remove the belt first. You just need to use uh, a power tool um, to to get it off. So then I had to just remove the, the thermostat housing. That was pretty easy. Just the two screws. I'm going to change the, the thermostat anyway. And now uh, you can take the, the cam belt cover off, like four screws, two here, one down there, and then you have one hidden here, uh, that's a little bit a uh, longer one, you can see it here, the cam belt got, gets stuck here, so you just need to turn it a little bit so you get loose, and then you can remove the, the cover 
to the right side and then you can uh, re remove afterwards uh, that screw. Uh, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn the engine so the, cylinder, the first cylinder is on top that center and then I'm trying to First of all, before I remove uh, the old belt, it actually looks quite good. I don't know um, how old it is, but uh, just uh, for the peace of mind, uh, I'm going uh, to um, to change it. And then first of all, remove the belt, loosening the tensioner here. I'm just uh, trying to, to clean uh, a little bit uh, of um, this dirt and then um, remove um, the water pump and uh, install the new one and yeah that's that's uh, so easy so the water pump uh, is removed and I just turned the engine to the top that center of the first cylinder I'm just going to show you the marks you can see um, on the crankshaft pulley uh, you can see a white mark that uh, made somebody else I think uh, it's a for the uh, to better say technician timing and I just made one the red one um, uh, for the top dead center one and there you can see the marking on the engine block and for the camshaft you can see it here I marked it red um, you can see that point um, and the dot um, in the engine block um, that matches now with the with that spike on the uh, camshaft uh, pulley. So uh, I'm ready to loosen the, the tensioner, um, remove the belt, and um, yeah, clean again or clean more um, the the front uh, of the engine. So it has been a few months <laughs> since I started to change the timing belt on my Ford Taunus uh, 1972 and I finally got the time to get uh, back on this little project. Uh, well I cleaned the mess um, completely up and now I'm ready to install the new water pump uh, with some uh, fresh, fresh screws. I just can't stop to mention how cool these cars are uh, to work on. So if you are a beginner in the classic car scene or you're looking for a first project to work on, these cars are just perfect because it's so easy, so straightforward. Yeah, basically nothing can go wrong. It's just uh, keep um, your head together and uh, think before you do something. So here's how it looks like. Um, I first started that with the water pump, then with the thermostat housing, then um, I set the, uh, the, the tensioner uh, from the belt. Um, this is a special screw um, if you need, really need to check if the thread inside, the hex thread is still good inside. Um, put um, a, a screw this other um, screw inside so you can tension um, the spring with the tensioner here you see how it goes uh, then really um, get yourself like a large, large screwdriver tension um, oh no first um, set the, the belt check the markings again and then when the belt is, every, is, is everywhere fine you just push it back with a big screwdriver just here on the edge of the um, of the tensioner and then you just slip um, the belt over then uh, you get um, you get the crankshaft pulley uh, don't forget uh, this spacer it looks like a dish and um, the deeper side goes inside and now you can just check everything is fine get um, get the um, crankshaft pulley screw back on and then uh, that is a, a 19 uh, head screw um, and just turn the engine two times check the tension yeah this is really good it was a little bit too low when I put the tension on it but um, when I turned the engine just two times it looks perfect check the markings again top that center here and then I try to do it this way here you can see um, the arrow just lines up with the dot 
and the last point just check if the if the uh, distributor still lines up with the first cylinder so easy as that uh, i'm just so happy it's um, uh, so rewarding uh, to work at this engine now don't forget to screw back the tensioner i have uh, not done it yet first then um, this screw and then the special screw um uh, where the spring is from the tensioner um, just try um, to not kill um, the inside uh, thread all right sometimes it's just quicker um, to go uh, with uh, new screws um, and instead of bothering uh, with old ones here i will really need to to clean that thread and so on and yeah it really didn't cost that much to to get a new one that looks way nicer always recommend um when you're screwing this um to iron blocks and um, just use a little bit of, of uh, copper paste so um, everything screw back together now i'm going to install an electrical fan and uh, daylight running lights so fast forward here on the Fortano's coupe uh, 1972. Um, everything is back installed now, except here is like a, a wind tray here, just so the wind flow goes um, through the radiator. But that is broken. Maybe I um, do some one out of some um, aluminium sheet. Well. Um, the engine runs perfectly. I'm going to post a video of that. Um, the ignition timing is set. It was somehow it was uh, uh, quite considerably off. And uh, now we see here the whole installation of the electrical radiator fan and with uh, all the wiring. Um, here's the custom-made um, housing uh, for the thermical switch um, there are um, many many variations that you can get off the market um, it's just uh, the relay that switches um, the fan on and off uh, depending on the uh, signal from the uh, switch if it goes on ground it just switches the, the relay and the the uh, radiator, uh, I mean the electrical fan from the radiator goes on. Everything is um, fused here um, through this uh, ignition key switch. I just got it here from the fuse box. I got a wire all along uh, to here uh, to switch directly uh, from the battery and the current goes from this relay that switches the the current when the ignition is turned on to this one and the system is fully running so um, uh, this fan works only when the, uh, when the ignition is turned on. The other installation I see this sticker is not working here uh, probably going to put it just here on the on the now the battery is also a bad idea but I, the car is going to be repainted anyway so as you can see the just a sticker from the new um, uh, timing belt. Um, the other thing I have added, going to post also, uh, you will see it in the video. Uh, I have here these fog lamps, and uh, it's obligatory and or mandatory in this country to have data running lights if you have a car um, from 1970 or younger. So I got this module um, that has. Um, then you can um, just uh, use any of your lights and you have a demo uh, which you can set uh, from uh, like from no light to maximal um, light depending on, on your pulp. I think these are 55 watts so I just uh, tuned it down until it looked correct for me. Maybe it's like I don't know 10 to 15 percent of the of the maximal power so it's like running with maybe five uh, to ten watts and yeah this also works uh, when the ignition um, is um, turned on and off um, maybe I just uh, do a quick 
view how it looked like so when you when you change um, your lights through yeah um, actually that's it um, change the water pump as well some new aluminium uh, parts here so um, this car as you can see uh, had some major rust repairs in the past and I'm going to um, with this car uh, to the painter and uh, probably do some of my work uh, myself uh, like all the prep work and the covering uh, stuff and so on so uh, I will you guys um, uh, keep posted on that so see you next time Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time on the Old World Garage Channel.